How is it going, everybody? We have another interview with Jeff Strain concerning Save Decay 2. This interview was conducted by IGN. They did a really great job getting some awesome new information from Jeff Strain. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll catch you guys at the end. A big reveal of State of Decay 2 at the Microsoft conference today. Yeah, the, the reveal of the, the first in-game <laughs> yeah. gameplay footage, yes. Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we knew this was coming, but this is our first really good look at the game. I think. That's right. Yeah, because like, we got the announcement last year at the show, yep. right? And then we, I think we exclusively debuted some sort of uh, in-game concept art uh, from early on in the year, but this That's was right. a full-fledged, what, five, five and a half minutes of, you know, what we're going to be doing in State of Decay 2. Yeah, the message this year is, hey, the game is real, it's yeah. coming together, we still have a ways to go. Sure. Uh, but, you know, so many people are asking about it that we just, you know, we felt like we really wanted to just get out there and show it and like, yeah, this thing's coming. It's looking yeah. good. It's coming together. And uh, the team's excited. Yeah. I mean, I think both of us were huge fans of, yeah. you know, State of Decay yeah. 1 back in 2013. Was that right? Yeah, Jeez. summer of 2013. I know. Yeah, we're all getting good. very old. <laughs> uh, so what's the, you know, uh, uh, the biggest change seemingly that you guys have been sort of promoting is the fact that this is now multiplayer. Yeah, well, I think that's that's one of the biggest changes. You know, what, what we did was we looked at the original game. Uh, the, the, the success of that game really took us by surprise. We, we'd hoped people would like it, but yeah. it just you know, really kind of exceeded our wildest it, hopes, right? Yeah. So we were able to look at it and say, why do people resonate with this game? What do they like? What do they want to see in a sequel? And kind of put aside our preconceived notions about what that should be. Mm -hmm. uh, and so Steady Decay 2 is very much a reflection of, of what people have asked for and what they've hoped for. Uh, very specifically, it's bigger, badder, bolder. We are deepening the uh, the simulation systems. Uh, the you know There were a couple hundred character traits in the first. There are over a thousand combinatoric traits in this one, so a wide range of survivor characters. Um, and they have a direct impact on the simulation in a much more meaningful way than in the original game. Base building options are greatly expanded. Uh, the physical size of the world is obviously much larger. And of course, you know we, we are uh, putting a lot of time and energy into uh, making the overall experience a lot more smooth. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and then, yes, add on top of all of that, the number one most requested feature, which was, of course, co-op multiplayer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I feel like back in 2013, uh, you know, there weren't a ton of games, especially in the console front, that did the sort of base building, crafting, survival aspects. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, cut to four years later, like, that seems like you guys are sort of ahead of the curve when well, it comes to that. Yeah, I think so. And and still, to this day, a little bit, right? You know, you just look at the, the Xbox briefing today, some just beautiful beautiful jaw-dropping games, right? Just amazing experiences. Like, as a gamer, I was sitting there you know, really excited. Yeah, yeah. You know, State of Decay 2 is still a little bit of a different drumbeat, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's not, uh, you don't find a lot of console games with that are focused on that kind of simulation and strategy and, and uh, kind of depth of the, you know, quieter, calmer experience mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Is Does the core game mechanic and goal remain the same, which is to survive and hopefully thrive in this uh, post-apocalyptic world? Yeah, very much so. You know, I think that um, the zombie genre is crowded. It's, yeah, you know, sure. uh, When we announced the game, you know, a lot of, hey, does the world really need another zombie game? And, and, you know, our thought was, well, yeah, it does, because to us, there are some fantastic zombie uh, games out there, but none of them had really captured that that survival fantasy experience, that like you sitting around with your friends and saying, what would you do? What's your plan, right? We really wanted to capture that and give players the ability to do that. I think State of Decay 1 was a good swing at that, uh, especially for the size of team and the resources we had. Uh, with State of Decay 2, we're able to take that a lot further. Sure. Uh, and you know, especially as we look at this and think about what the future could hold, it's always getting closer and closer and closer to that reality, yeah. to that fantasy yeah. that we want to try to achieve. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about the, uh, well, you talk about how cooperative is a big uh, requested feature. So what does that look like now when you start a, a new game in State of Decay 2 yeah. and you find three friends? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's that like? Well, you know, we spent a lot of time talking about, you know, what is true to the nature of the game? What's not true to the nature of the game is a big PvP slaughter fest, right? There are some games out there that have permadeath that do a great job of you know, it, get putting you in that kind of high-risk scenario. But that's not what the game is about. The game is about humans working together cooperatively to overcome the zombie menace and survive. And and when we listen to our players, that's what they were asking for, co-op, co-op. I want to be able to play with my friends. This game begs to be played with my friends. Uh, so we, we really scoped it to that. Like, let's make a game that's great for you to be able to easily jump in and out with your friends and also to encourage you to meet people and, and have strangers helping each other. And so 
we don't have kind of a formal party system. Instead, it is drop out, drop in, drop out. Mm -hmm. um, you can jump into my game and play with me. I can jump into your game and play with you. The game rewards you quite a bit for working together and overcoming challenges together. But then there's the flare system, which is anytime you're playing and you're in over your head mm -hmm. and you need help, shoot your flare and it will notify anybody who's registered in the game world to be a volunteer, right? And let them know that you need help and then somebody can jump in and help you in your game. Ooh, I love that. Yeah. you have a limited number of flares, or just like one every, is it based on a time system, or does it regenerate? You know, I don't know the answer to that. Interesting. Uh, we, well, we've got it in and working, but we, okay. I don't know what the constraints on it are yet. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And I don't think, uh, you know, we, we can't leave this without talking about uh, the Xbox One X. Yeah. Obviously, officially, uh, it's coming out party today. Uh, what excites you about that, and sort of, uh, you know, how is uh, that new piece of hardware uh, allowing you guys to really just uh, see your vision of the game for yeah. Well, you know, new console hardware is always so exciting, but, but for developers, especially you know smaller developers like us, it's a bit of a uh, of a kiss curse because it's you know we want to be able to show the game in the highest graphical fidelity and and you know with all the bells and whistles turned on. But traditionally, with a new console release, you'd be facing a much smaller addressable audience, and that's tough for a, a developer like us to have to make that choice, mm -hmm. right? Uh, with Xbox One X, because it is a family of consoles, because uh, our game will run on all of them. Uh, it, it, it makes that a lot easier and a lot more exciting. Now we can just focus on the cool stuff. And so, you know, uh, we're building in a, a high degree of scalability so that we're able to take advantage of that additional horsepower um, to give you a richer, uh, especially on the graphical side, a, a more rich experience. The first and foremost of which is, of course, full 4K and HDR support. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, sure. That's very cool. In the trailer today, we saw, saw a scene where I think someone got bit, and the team has to make a decision. They yep. have apparently like a cure, but they only have one. Mm -hmm. They have to decide whether it's worth it to use it or save it. So is that actually a, a mechanic built into the game? Or? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, I was talking earlier about the fact that you have a lot more uh, your base and your community and your bases, uh, we, we model that a lot more uh, deeply, give you a lot more sophisticated tools, and one of them is kicking people out of your base, and one of them is uh, when you need to make the call, mm -hmm. dispatching those people who could wind up being a threat to your community. Yeah, yeah. yeah those, uh, the, you know, the first game you mentioned earlier had those really interesting sort of personal traits and stats that, right. uh, you know, it was math behind the curtains, but I feel like it really sort of delved into what a lot of zombie movies and zombie fiction do, and then sort of deal with the personal ramifications of, you know, the post apocalyptic world is a moral gray area. That's right. Uh, is that something you guys want to double down on here? So that is probably, along with co-op multiplayer, one of the biggest innovations people are going to see mm -hmm. uh, is that, uh, as you point out, there are a lot of different ways to solve problems, some of them very practical, some of them very ethical, mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes those two things don't yeah. uh, gel, right? And you are uh, often put in the position of, uh, you'll, you'll have your community, uh, people, your survivors in your base will often give you advice, right? Based on their personalities and their traits, and you choose whose advice you're going to take. Uh, not by clicking a menu that says, yes, I'll do what you say, but actually going out and doing it. And over time, that will cause some people to be more irritated with you or like you better, uh, and, and ultimately result in kind of the, the, the how your, your community is um, formulated. Like, who wants to be there, who doesn't want to be there? Um, and you find that it, it's a very strong reflection of your own, you know, kind of personal thoughts on those matters. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. So the people in your party, is it, is it not set? So like, do you have to actually gather, your, get your friends all together, we're all going to hop online right for now? For multiplayer? Yeah, for multiplayer. Yeah. yeah. No, you don't. And, and this is, again, uh, we really like the drop-in, drop-out model. Um, it, it's just there's so many uh, more options that it gives us as game designers where we don't have to kind of group people together beforehand. Uh, and so. You log on to play, uh, and you notice that uh, one of your buddies playing, you can just hop right in his game and play mm -hmm. with him. Uh, he can hop right into yours and play with you. Uh, anything that you find there, uh, anything that happens to your character comes back into your world. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, you know, we just want to make it easy and seamless to play together without a whole lot of setup and a whole lot of structure to it. Okay, so if I jump into your game, I have to deal with the ramifications of what you've done in the past with, the, with the NPCs in the world, but That's then right. when I hop back into my game, I have everything that I did in your game, so I'm able to carry my progress over. That's right. Gotcha. Yeah, cool. Sounds super interesting. Yeah. Yeah. State of Decay 2 is coming to Xbox One spring 2018. That's correct. Cool. We're excited to see more. Jeff, thank okay. you so much for coming by thank the show. Thank you guys. Yeah. Appreciate it. Alrighty. I hope you guys enjoyed that 
interview. I think there's going to be more interviews to come in the future. We also have some more blog posts coming from Undead Labs in the future, and that will all be covered within the State of Decay coverage series. So guys, we are pretty far in the coverage series, episode 22. It's been amazing. We have a bunch of live streams planned to talk about everything we saw of the trailer and everything we now know from the interviews. Can't wait to do that. But guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this interview. I'd like to give a special thanks to this month's producers. Don't forget, I love you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.